You know what? I want to talk a little bit about that. What, some did, what more just here. happened? Yeah, okay. what just happened? Because snow uh, after the event can get really, really heavy, and especially in in our area here, it's usually a little bit wetter snow. It's not that fluffy stuff. So, how heavy can snow get? Well, I got three houses for you. This is an average American home. This one has fluffy snow on it. This one has normal snow on it, and this one has wet snow on it. Okay. So, and, and if you have 12 inches of snow. It's about 6,000 pounds. That's about the uh, size of an F-250 pickup truck, okay, right on top of your home. Now, most homes can actually handle uh, a, a decent amount of weight on the roofs, okay? So uh, normal snow, just n normal consistency here. That's about an F-250, uh, Ford F-250 pickup truck and a sedan on top of your house. And then and then if it's uh, wet snow, you know, that, that really watery snow that we tend to get around here, that's like having three pickup trucks on top of your house. Okay, that's one foot of snow. But if we have two feet of snow, then things really change. So the fluffy snow, you're still okay, but most roofs can withstand about 20 pounds per square foot. Once you start getting into that wet snow and we get two feet of snow on your house, and remember out there in Leavenworth, they had three to four feet. That's when it starts weighing about 25 pounds per square feet. Again, most roofs can handle 20. Now we're talking 25. That's like having six pickup trucks right on top of your roof. That's how heavy things can get. Now, multiply that by another two here. If you had four feet of, uh, four feet of snow on the top of the roof, that's why, that's why those things go down. Weight. It's a lot of weight. It's a lot of weight. Hopefully, this puts it into perspective. It's kind of a silly way to do that, but it, it, it helps you think about just how heavy that can be.